and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy and today we are taking another car down our rally course. Yes, this week we are taking the Subaru 22B down the rally course. We've already taken a Subaru down in the past, the Subaru Hatchback STI. Currently sat in 7th place with a 210, which was a very good showing from that car. Now, in last week's episode, we had an all-wheel drive vehicle, the Chevrolet K10, which did very, very well. It is currently in ninth place, so I'm hoping the 22B can beat that. But let's go ahead and upgrade the car before we start. Now, if this is the first episode you've seen of the Rally series, then welcome. Hope you are enjoying what we do first is build all the cars into S1 class. All the cars keep their stock engine, unless the PI calls for it. We will build all the cars into S1 class. All the cars keep their stock drivetrain. So the Subaru will be remaining all-wheel drive. And uh, all the vehicles will be running the Rally Tire Compound. Um, I can't remember the name of it in Horizon 5. It, they changed the name of it, but in Horizon 4, it was the Rally Tire Compound. So I'll explain that when we get to it. So we've got a few engine swaps, but I think we should be okay in the Subaru with a standard engine. Uh, we can go ahead and make this thing rear-wheel drive, but as for the criteria of the series, we must keep the stock drivetrain. But all-wheel drive is preferred anyway. We have a few bumper and visual upgrades. Now this can actually increase the weight, but sometimes it can remove drag. So we've got some rally kind of themed uh, bumpers. Uh, we've got this one with the fog lights, which I actually really like. So I think we'll go for that. Um, at the rear, we can remove the spoiler. We've got some interesting looking ones i'm just going to keep the stock one the iconic sort of loop subaru spoiler it looks very very nice we've got a few rear bumper options quite like this one it's got some little spats down there at the bottom um we've got a few side skirt options which can make the car look a little bit nicer um but i'm just going to keep the stock one with the mud flaps since we're building a rally car or why not um, we can go for some fog lights on the front and we can go for a scoop on the top. We'll go for those. Not too keen on the carbon look, but we are building a rally car, so we might as well go for some fog lights. Um, we need to put the car on some rally tire compound. You can see that I have previously built this as a road car. So in Horizon 5, it's known as the off-road tire compound. We do also have the off-road race tire compound. Um, which some of the vehicles uh, have as standard so they have a slight edge over some of the other cars for example the bigger cars like the Lamborghini and the Mercedes truck which are in first and second place they had the off-road race tire compound standard so they slightly more grip than some of the other cars um, but all the other cars have been running the off-road race tire com or the off-road tire compound otherwise known as the rally tire compound so we'll go with that we'll make the tires as fat as possible now in the uh, chevy in the last episode we were running 305s only running 275s that's still quite a big tire for a car like this we'll go ahead and make the wheels as wide as possible without ruining the look of the car too much that is going to give us more stability but not really too keen on that. I think they're wide enough, to be honest. Anyway, it is a proper rally car. Um, we're just going to leave the stock wheels because they're good enough for now. We'll go ahead and upgrade the transmission and the clutch. We'll put in a carbon fiber drive shaft. And we'll go ahead and put it on a rally differential so I can tune the diff and hopefully get a little bit more speed out. We want race brakes. We also want to put it on uh, the off-road springs and dampers, the raised rally suspension, 
Uh, we'll go ahead and put some anti-roll bars on. That might help it a little bit in the corners. Although we do want a bit of oversteer in a car like this to help it get around the corners a bit easier. We'll go for full weight reduction. And then hopefully with full engine uh, upgrades, we should be into S1 class. So we're almost there now. We'll go for um, the upgraded camshaft. That's going to let the engine rev out a little bit more. Hopefully get us a little bit more speed on the straights. And there we go. We're into S1 class. Now, since... Since the last time I was uh, doing the rally series uh, over a year ago, we've had an update where we can now get the anti-lag turbos, which make it, yes, they make it pop and bang like mad. Uh, now, that would be an unfair advantage against some of the previous cars that have run that it wasn't an option when I ran those cars. So we're not going to use the anti-lag turbo Although, if you were building a real rally car, you would. Um, the previous cars that we have run did not have that option available. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, we're just trying to keep this as level playing field as possible. But there we go. We're up into S1 class. Um, we've got nearly 600 horsepower, 500 foot-pound of torque. 2,300 pounds, so we're just over... Um, a ton which is not too bad we got a 2.6 a boxer engine in there which is absolutely lovely and we have got a turbo as well so i'm going to do a little bit of tuning on this thing and uh, i'll see you guys over at the rally course all right the first run in the 22b let's see how it gets off the line absolutely no bog off the line it accelerates lovely on the tarmac we're already up to fifth gear and onto the dirt we go it's a little bit bumpy coming down here so i'm going to get on the brakes early because when it's bumpy and you're trying to brake sometimes when a wheel is off in the air it doesn't quite get you slowed down enough through the water splash there it gets turned in very very nicely we'll keep it on the right hand side of that water splash and here we go up the hill. Now the Subaru is a little bit more stiff. I can already tell that compared to the uh, K10 that we took last week. That soaked up the bumps a lovely. But the Subaru definitely has more power. It's putting the power down much, much better. I have biased the um, differential to the rear once again. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of oversteer on the corners. That can sometimes help you just get through the corner a little bit easier and negate some of the understeer for example when we're coming into the hairpin here which we actually don't get any any understeer through there that was absolutely lovely i know we were struggling a little bit last week in the k10 for understeer a little bit on the grass there but that's okay that can be a faster line sometimes coming up the hill the Subaru is getting the power down lovely and that boxer engine sounds absolutely fantastic. Gonna have to have a little break on there because we're a bit wide on the exit. We brushed the fence there so that is something to note for our next run. But this is just going to be a shakedown run in the Subaru just to see what it is capable of, where we need to put the power down, where we need to break. But Subaru is actually handling this very very well. I opted to go with the standard blue and gold paint job. Very, very iconic. Didn't want to touch that. Could have gone for a Colin McRae paint job, but everybody uses that. So I thought, we'll just keep it standard. But coming down the hill here, that is an amazing first run there. Uh, we'll have to wait and see whether it has beaten the F450 Super Duty. And not quite, it's still just behind it, but it has beaten the K10 from the last episode. The Ford F450 is a 211.23. So we've got a couple of tenths to make up, which is definitely possible. And that would put this thing up to 8th position, just behind the hatchback STI. That did a 210. So that is our new goal, I think. Can it beat the hatchback, hatchback STI? Okay, round number three. It seems to get off the line very, very nicely. 
Uh, obviously, the all-wheel drive will help that. But it seems to grip very, very nicely on the tarmac. Now, it was a little bit bumpy down this section last time. But that is actually quite good because it does sort of jump over the water instead of going through it. Which, obviously, would slow us down. So that is actually a benefit down that section. But around the rest of the course, it seemed very planted. It is getting the power down nicely. Especially through the water splashes, it doesn't seem to get slowed down too much. We're weighing just over a ton, so it has got plenty of momentum to get through the water. That was a little bit too wide through there, and that is actually going to void the Subaru's second run. Unfortunately, we missed a checkpoint. We have only had a few void runs um, on the series, but unfortunately, yes, that will void the Subaru's second run. But we had a good strong run in the first We've got one more run in the third attempt to try and get it up to the hatchback's time. Okay, attempt number three. This is where we've got it all to do. We didn't have a second run, so um, obviously it got void. That is the rules of the series. If we miss a checkpoint, if we go out of bounds, if a car flips, anything like that, then the run will be void. So I'm gonna take it a little bit more cautiously through this first section we don't want to miss any more checkpoints and um, but i do want to try and beat the hatchbacks hatchbacks lap time because uh, it is very very achievable in this car now the hatchback was one of our early cars in the series so i don't actually remember driving that car so i'm not sure how it compares to this subaru but the 22B is putting the power down very, very nicely. We didn't run wide on the checkpoint that time. We've got a little bit of oversteer through there, which is common. Now, down the bumpy section here, it does seem to soak these bumps up okay. Although the uh, K10 from the last episode, we didn't feel any of the bumps. We didn't even have to brake. But it does very, very well through the hairpin here. It gets turned in very nicely, a little bit of oversteer just to help it get round, which is exactly what we want. We do get a little bit of air time on the jump. And coming up the hill into the two right-handers, we're a little bit more controlled than our first run. We don't run wide on the grass. Coming up the hill here, we get an impressive bit of speed, 120 through there. But we do get a nasty bump coming out of there and that has actually put us completely on the wrong line coming out of that corner now coming into this right hander this is probably the worst corner on the course but we get turned in there actually very very nicely that was exactly the line that we wanted through there a little bit of understeer in that corner there we're coming up to the final couple of corners we're going to knock it down into fourth I'm not going to look at the time, I'm going to focus completely on the driving. Let's see what we can do. Is it going to be a 210? It is a 210. Has it beaten the hatchback? Unfortunately not. A 210.314 will put it just behind the hatchback, almost on par, but that does give it an 8th position behind the hatchback just in front of the f450 super duty but let's actually go to the lap board and have a little look how it racks up so there we go that was our 20th car to take on the rally course the 22b subaru and what a beast it was coming up in eighth position with a 210.314 just a couple of tenths of a second off the time of the hatchback STI. A very, very impressive showing from the Subaru. I think uh, if we'd had the second run as a bit of practice, we could have beaten the hatchback. But sadly, it was not to be. But there we go. That is an eighth position for the Subaru 22B. Just above the F450 Super Duty which is actually a lot to say about the Super Duty because it probably weighs double what the Subaru does. It was also all-wheel drive, um, but it was definitely not built for going down a course like this, like the 22B here. Um, but we did beat the K10 from the last episode. 
the 213.901. So there we go. That is the Subaru 22B taking on our rally course. If you have a suggestion for which car you want to see take on the course in the next episode, then make sure to comment down below. Hope you are enjoying the rally series returned to the Moldy Worm Gaming channel. If you are, then it'd be awesome if you could smash the like button. And if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe for more great videos just like this one. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Hope you did enjoy and I will see you all next time.